right. Good morning, everyone. Hello and welcome to my channel, Membrance Teaching Channel. All right, our presentation for today. Oh, before I start, I would like you to look at uh, how you can contact me, how you can connect with me through Instagram and Facebook. Subscribe, you can comment, you can also, if you like some of the lessons that I'm presenting, do show it to me that you like it. And if you can subscribe, that's a lot better. I would appreciate it. And again, this is Membrane's teaching channel. All right, so change your words, change your mindsets. And so I would like to ask if you have um, these terms, fixed and growth mindsets. Actually, these terms were coined by Stanford researcher and professor Carol Dweck. He wants to describe belief systems about the ability to change, to grow, and to develop over time. We do not just grow today and tomorrow. It, it, it is done. We develop over time. Okay, so I have read something about if you believe your qualities are essentially unchangeable or fixed, you may be less open to mistakes because setbacks are seen as inherent and that probably will hinder future successes. Like, for example, if you have a fixed mindset and have trouble connecting with others at an event, so you said, you said oh no, I'm afraid to uh, say something or join a conversation or join a group. You may see this as an evidence that you will never be able to socially connect, leading to social anxiety and avoidance to groups, avoidance to people, avoidance to friends that or classmates probably during reunions. That is a fixed mindset. All right, so let us continue. And I hope that you will like this presentation. Mindset is how you see your life through your own unique lens. It's of us as a uh, uh, lens here does not mean your eyes. It's like your own thinking. How you see your life, how you see your thoughts, how you, you frame up your thoughts so that you can probably change. All right. Now, how are you going to develop your mindset? One, you direct your thoughts. Like you can tell yourself, I'm not going there. I'm not going into that negative uh, sway or negative portion of my life. I believe I will succeed. If you believe you will succeed, you really will succeed. So tell yourself upfront, I can make it. I can graduate high school. I, I can graduate middle school, I'm sorry. And then onto high school, and then I'm going to get a degree that I really like. It is 100% you're going to graduate your degree, whatever it is that you want to, because your focus is on that goal. I want to graduate a degree. I want to graduate um, being an engineer. I would like to build my parents a good house so that they can live comfortably during their old age. And then along the way, sometimes we get some we get stuck. We got into some challenges or struggles. Nobody does not have struggles. We all have. Believe me, we all have. Even the richest person on earth will still have some challenges. Do not avoid looking back. Analyze what went wrong. Don't be too proud to say I'm not. I'm not going to check whatever happens. This is that's what I did. I know I did. I did great. So analyze what went wrong, and then push out all feelings that aren't positive. If you think that you are already going to the negative uh, thoughts, convince yourself uh, or tell yourself, "Or oh, I, I ain't going there. I ain't going there." I would like to focus on what is positive. For teachers, 
instead of uh, instead of just saying boys and girls i need you to just sit down and you are supposed to be working on your morning work right now talking is not an option that's just dictating how are you going to say it the positive way oh i think you have some work to do what are you going to, what are you supposed to do right now all right so I believe there are some of you, you know, you can always tweak uh, how students could be. You can always tweak them by saying, I know that uh, so and so, Carol is already starting to do his, her morning work. And so as Johnny, look at them. They're so busy. They want to earn good grades. I hope that there are some of you who will follow what they are doing. Oh, wow. Look at them. That's what I like. Bravo, great job. G-O-O-D-J-O-B, good job, good job. So push out all those feelings that are not positive. Negative thoughts will really, really bring you down. All right, so now here are some of the things that you can do to change your mindset. If you could tell yourself I'm good at something or I'm not good at something. You know what? Tell yourself, I can improve my skills with effort and practice. Tell yourself about um, having practice skills. Another one, this is too hard. Kids would always say, this is too hard. They have not even started the work and it is too hard already. Tell yourself, I need more time and practice to get better at this. I just need time. I do not need to watch TV all the time. I do not need to play all the time. I can play on Saturdays and Sundays. So I need time and practice. So I will do better. Okay. Sometimes you tell yourself, I'm just not good at math. But do the positive. Math is difficult, but I know I can improve. Again, look back, tell yourself, through time and practice, I will do better. Tell yourself about that. Those are motivating factors. Next one, you tell yourself, my friend is really better at this. I am not. So you're now comparing yourself with your friend. No. Do not compete, compete with yourself. You better tell yourself, what can I learn from my friend to improve? See, friends are there to always guide us, to um, simply inspire us, motivate us to do better. If we fail, probably they would say, oh no, that is just today, tomorrow we'll do better. See, those are nice words. All right, next, I'm good at writing, so I don't need to work on it anymore. Ooh, fixed mindset. I'm good at writing already, and I don't need to work on more writing. And change it to growth mindset. Tell yourself, I can always improve, so I will keep working on it. You might, yeah, you might be a good writer, but through practice, through time, through some help from others, you can still improve yourself. All right. Again, fixed mindset. I'm not good at public speaking. Always not good. <laughs> Growth mindset. With practice and help, I can get better and more confident with public speaking. You probably have social anxiety, but this time you can get better and more confident with public speaking. Again, fixed mindset says, I can't do it. No, growth mindset said, that may be hard for you to do. How can I get better? What will you do? Try and try and you will succeed. Don't be afraid of failure. You will be learning from it. If you're afraid to fail, 
then you are afraid to succeed as well. All right, next one. Successful people are lucky and talented. That's about fixed mindset. Oh, they are talented. They are really smart. They are rich. That's why. Nope. We would always say successful people worked on becoming successful and had to fail many times to get to where they are right now. See? They work on becoming successful. If you do not work, if you do not change your mindset, you really are bound to fail and fail and fail. All right, next one. Oh, fixed mindset. I messed up. I'm not going to try again. I messed up. No, you will always learn from your mistake. Growth mindset says you can learn from your mistake. Remember I told you earlier, if you are afraid to fail, you are afraid to succeed as well. Okay, another one. Oh, this doesn't work. But the growth mindset said, I will try a different way, a different approach, a different way of solving the problem. My teacher says, do this. So I'm going to do what my teacher says. That's a growth mindset. Try other approach. Try other ways. All right. If it doesn't work the first time, do it again. Try it again. If it doesn't work still, this is the third time and the fourth time and the fifth time. All right. Another one. Fixed mindset. If I don't try new or challenging things, I won't fail. Of course you won't because you did not, you did not uh, try something new. You just get stuck on whatever old thing you've had. But remember, tell yourself, being successful means trying new and hard things and sometimes even failing. There are no successful person on earth who did not go through failures. They probably have failed hundreds of times, but they kept doing it over and over. So be like them. Growth mindset, try new and hard things and even fail in order to succeed. Another one. Huh. I will never figure this out. Fixed mindset, but the growth mindset says, I can ask for help when I need it, which is true. If you cannot figure out something, cry for help, ask for help. There's nothing wrong in asking for help. It will help you um, lessen the worries you have. It will open up a new approach. It will open up a new mindset. So it changed already. All right. With growth mindset, you know that you can change over time. And therefore, you are more open to reflect, learn, and grow from challenges. Because failure is less threatening. Yeah, it's less threatening. You will not make any mistake. You are more willing to embrace life's challenges, take feedback as a learning opportunity, and continue to learn and grow throughout life. If you have a growth mindset, you are also less likely to personalize setbacks. If somebody says something bad about what you did, you're very defensive. That is a fixed mindset. If you are defensive, you argue about a very simple thing. That's a fixed mindset. What is a growth mindset? A growth mindset is one that accepts feedbacks, setbacks, reflection from others. It might cause your social difficulty or social anxiety, 
uh, you probably are going to say, I'm not going to do it again, but take this examples of growth mindset. They will enable you to do more. They will enable you to work harder and try harder, try other, other approaches. You know what? If you have a fixed mindset, it is hard to find motivation to work. Of course, each one of us have its weaknesses. Um, you know, if we have fixed mindset, we may uh, find change as a hopeless thing. It doesn't even change any of the views that we've had. But with growth mindset, you will see your perceived weakness as a challenge that can be motivating and even fun to overcome. Really, this is this is something that you have to ponder about. I I have uh, some lines that was from Dr. Towery. He was also one of the researchers for um, grow a uh, fixed and growth mindset. His example is his own life. He said uh, he was dissatisfied with his singing abilities. So he decided he's going to take nine months singing lessons. And when he uh, went to explain something on the radio, uh, he was introducing it using a song. He was remarkably better than when he was before he started his nine month lesson on singing. So it was fun to learn. It is something that it is a skill that probably we just have discovered. It can be cultivated rather than something that you have. Oh, he's a good singer, but you do not sing ever, especially in public. No. And I, I, I would repeat again. You know, I would repeat again uh, what I've, uh, I've uh, told my students about my growth mindset. I grew up from an island. If I have a fixed mindset, I would just say, oh, I do not want to go away from my parents. I just would like to live with them. I just want to stay in the island. I, I am afraid to go uh, somewhere else. I need my parents. I need my brothers, my family. No, I don't want to go anywhere. But I told myself, even when I was just young, I said, no, nope, I'm not going to stay here. If I stay here, this is what I will be. So it's it's something that I do not want. So I told myself after high school, I immediately um, took a work outside of the island where I was born. So I was just thinking if I'm going to stay here forever, <laughs> I am not saying that it was not good, but I, I have my own uh, dream. I have a focus. And that, if I graduate college, I said to myself, then I can help my brothers, then I can help my family. So that's a growth mindset. Okay. So, um, finally, mindsets help us to simplify and divert our thoughts. Dr. Towery again assures that the good news is mindsets are highly changeable. If you are willing to learn the technology of changing your mindset and defeating your distorted thoughts, you can have significantly more, have more happiness. See, you will be happier, successful. You can help other people. And uh, my last few lines, you learn more from failure than from success. Don't let it stop you. Failure builds your character. If we have undergone several challenges in our lives, we become stronger. The world needs strong people. The world needs a stronger nation. All right. Thank you so much. And I hope that you learned something from this presentation. And please don't fail to subscribe. If you're able to, I would appreciate it. 
Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye now.